All right, what's up everybody? We are back with another five puzzle video. I think this is edition number six. Um, we're gonna do five puzzles on chess.com, trying to hit 3000 puzzle rating. I think we went down a little bit last time. I don't remember if we're still in the 2900s. Um, hopefully we can put a good stretch together today. Let's jump into it. We're at 2902 right now. Um, anything forcing after takes, takes, takes? I don't think so. We have d6 check. So d6. If the king sidesteps anywhere, then we're winning material, right? If the bishop ever comes back and takes at the end, we would have rook c7 hitting both bishops. Think so. So d6 check. Rook takes queen. I guess is maybe the the fault in that move. D6 rook takes. I don't have time to take the queen. All right. So not d6. So let's go back. Queen takes c8. Black doesn't take, that's just a free rook. So takes, rook takes with check, king here. Do I have like a d6 then? I don't think so. Queen takes, and I'm not sure what the follow up is. Maybe with the point of playing this check. Let's look at that real quick. Queen takes c8. Make sure we're still recording here. Bishop takes. Rook takes check. King f7. d6. If black does not take, then we just keep pushing. If queen takes d6, check. King is running, I guess. Doesn't necessarily do much for me. I don't know if queen c8 is the move. I'm not seeing another option at the moment. It'd be great if d6 worked, but after rook takes c4... Well, no, hold on, actually. d6, if rook takes c4, we have bishop check. King sidesteps, then we take the queen. That actually is probably it. So if d6 and rook takes c4, bishop takes c4 check. If bishop d5, we just take, doesn't affect anything. Queen can block, so if we go rook here, check. Let's say queen here. Maybe we just keep pushing. I think we probably just keep pushing there. If queen here... Then I think I can take. I think d6 is the move. Okay, so they do play rook takes. Here we take with the bishop. King here. I was assuming we would just take and be up the rook. I'll assume that's correct. All right. Good start, one for one. Um, so obviously we take that knight with check. Is there a better way to take? Taking with the queen feels obvious, but I don't know what the follow-up is afterwards. King steps up and we're out of checks. Other than sacking the queen. Black is... Gotta be threatening mate. Or at least close to mate. If I did something like queen c7. Surely we're going to get mated here.
yeah, I mean, there's just, there's no way we don't get mated there. Mm. So let's say bishop takes. It's just, there's a lot of, a lot of variations that we would have to run through to see if this ever works. Enough so that I don't think it necessarily does. So I guess the obvious calculation here, bishop takes, king has to step up somewhere. So let's say king goes here, queen takes rook. And then I just have to deal with the checks, which I guess I'm dealing with easier than I think I am after bishop d5. So maybe it's just bishop takes knight, queen takes rook. King doesn't step up, then obviously we're taking this with check. I think we're going to play that. And so here my thought was just to take the rook. Is queen b7 better? So what after queen b7 here? I don't like it. I'd rather just take the rook, I think. Am I giving up a perpetual? I don't want to get mated. So let's take the rook here. Let's say queen check here. King g2. Black runs out of checks. Queen c1. So if I go take rook, queen c1, king g2. The only check black has would be queen c6, at which point I can block. And we're just even material at that point, but I am threatening some nice checks, probably a mate. If ever queen h3, king g1 would always be safe. I think I just got to take the rook. I just, I don't think I have mate after king h8. I'm not taking the rook. I'm down a rook, and I need at least one move to set up any kind of substantial attack, which I think black really has covered anyways. I think we have to take the rook. Okay. Took me a little too long on that one, but two for two. Rather be right. Kind of the same issue here, just how many different checks can we give? Which one's the right one? So here, king steps. What am I gaining? I don't know. Bishop c5. Looks very enticing. Does it actually work? That I don't know. So bishop c5, with the obvious point being that if queen takes, I win the queen. Let's say king steps. So king's got three options there. Right? You could push the pawn... I would take those same options exist. Okay. So let's go here first. King d3. Check here. I want to play bishop c5 because that's such a nice move that I, it just should work <laughs> in my mind, but that seems a little tricky. If king f3, we give the check on f2, king steps up, and 
Maybe we throw pawns. It just seems good. It seems like I should be able to find the win. <sighs> Regardless of which square I go to, which is not the right way to calculate things, but it is unfortunately what I'm in the mood for today. It's to not overly calculate. Bishop c5, king e3, check, king here, check, no, king here. Am I mating in any of those scenarios? If I give a check with the queen, white just has so many squares to escape to. I guess it's really only one more, but it just seems like a nice way to get another piece in. And I'm just not necessarily sure what the mate would be. I'm going to play it. Oh. So I'm going to guess that because white's playing this, I had force mate in all of those lines. And I just hadn't calculated it. So if white doesn't take, I must have force mate. Which it felt like I should, and I just wasn't finding it. All right, three for three. Um, enticing, but doesn't work. Because the knight covers. Check. Also doesn't necessarily seem great, but is an option. What's the killer move here? Surely that just doesn't work. What about bishop check? So let's say bishop check. King can only sidestep here. So if if white doesn't take, if we play bishop check, king steps to f1. This is checkmate. Because the knight here, check, steps over me. So I think on bishop g3, white has to take. We take with the queen. That's actually force mate. Because then again, white's only step is here. Okay, and here it was this. Yeah. Knight blocks, take with check. King here, checkmate. All right. There we go, four for four. I don't think I've gone five for five yet in one of these. Maybe I have. Okay, this seems like the typical checkmating pattern of... Why is this one so easy? What am I missing? King steps here check king here that's why it's not that easy it's because i'm missing that move um so king would have to step to g2 if king goes to g1 it's made immediately is it better to take here for that reason here here king g2 yes so here it's bishop takes pawn if king g1, then we have queen h2 mate. On check, white has no ways to block. If king g2, we go queen g3 check. And then this. Yeah. Wow, uh, we cruised through that one. That was not a 2800 rated puzzle. Um, I don't know why that one is rated so high, but we'll take the eight points. 29.30. Um, I want to say that might be the highest that we've been in this series. I don't know. Step in the right direction. Um, we started at, what, 29.02? Is that right? So we got 28 rating points today. Um, so maybe let's just do that for three more videos and we'll be at 3,000. 
that's the goal. Um, today went well. Um, yeah, not much else to say about it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.